Okay, so now we have looked at how to combine data using append and using merge queries. And the next thing we're going to look at now, as far as data transformations in Power Query is concerned, the next two things really are going to be based on the shape of our data. And there are usually two things here. I won't mention the second one yet, but the first one here is transposing of data. How do we transpose data in Power Query? So again, if we go to our folder, Power Query Essentials, we have this number four file, Transpose Data. And if we open up that particular file, we're gonna have this Excel workbook that has two worksheets. The first worksheet contains the data set that has a particular or a certain shape. And then in the second worksheet, we have the clean version of you know the first one or just like the structure of what the clean version is meant to look like so when you look at the original one in the transpose worksheet what we see here is a situation where the shape of the data is in an opposite direction in the sense that instead of having row headers like this whereby this other date kind of like looks like the header for row one, and then the ship date looks like the header for row two. Now, typically in a tabular environment or for any tabular data set, we don't have data sets in a row orientation. Rather, we have our data set in column wise orientation. So rather than having row headers, we are supposed to have column headers, right? So what it means here is this data set has been presented in the opposite direction row wise instead of column wise. So it means that we are going to have to transpose the data so that row one that contains the other date. By the time we transpose that, we are going to convert row one into column one, convert row two into column two, convert row three into column three. So essentially, when we transpose data, we are basically converting the rows and the data into columns. So if we have six rows of data, when you transpose it, we are going to end up having six columns because each row will now become a column, right? So transpose again can be seen as a way of transposing the data table, which means the entire table is going to be flipped clockwise or anticlockwise, whichever way that you would like to look at it from. But essentially, we are going to flip it in an upside down manner, whereby each of these rows are now going to become columns. So let's see how to do this inside Power Query. So when I click on get data from Excel workbook, I'm connecting to number four transpose data. And I just want to work with the transpose one. The clean version is just an example for us to know what we are working with. So I'm going to click on transform data to go into Power Query. And really to transpose data is really very simple and very straightforward because all we have to do is go to the transform tab and we don't even have to select any column or select any row. We just essentially have to go to the transform tab and click on transpose button. So once I click on transpose button, you will see that since I have six rows of data here, I'm going to have six columns of data after transposing. And the only thing I will have to do from here is to click on use first row as headers. And that's it as simple and as straightforward as this. However, there are certain things that you may have to watch out for depending on the kind of data sets that you are dealing with and we're going to see this in the next video.